Today I'm lacing and truing the back wheel on my 73FX. I've got the uh, lateral and the radial run out in spec at a 32nd of an inch. And I have the wheel centered. The spec is two and fifteen sixteenths of an inch. Now I need to set the torque on the spokes. I don't have a ninety dollar spoke wrench, torque wrench for spokes, so I had to figure out something else. To measure that I figured I have three inches on my spoke wrench marked there's a nice little groove in the in the handle there and I figured that at three inches from the center divided into 12 that's 0.25 of four pounds is exactly one pound of force needed at that groove. Now all I needed is a way to measure one pound of force. So I came up with uh, a little spring scale and I will demonstrate how that measures 16 ounces. Okay, we're going to check out a little homemade scaling. I think it's a glue syringe, a wire, a little nylon flathead screw to center it in the top of a small compression spring. Already tried it out and I put a mark where 16 ounces will register. So that should be one pound. So let's give it a try here and check it out. Set the tear weight. Of the dish and we'll pour sixteen ounces of water. That's pretty close to 16 ounces. Now, hook that bag. Let gravity pull the spring. As you can see, the top of that flathead screw is right at the mark. So we have a 16 ounce scale. Time to use our little torque wrench system here. I'm gonna start at the valve stem hole by pulling on my wrench at right angles I'm going to give that nipple a quarter turn I'm 
Okay, I've done the other side all the way around. I've turned my rig around here. Now I'm going to start at the valve stem hole. I'll make sure these are all at the bottom limit of that 40 to 50 inch pound specification. Okay, that's once around on this side now. The only thing is that every spoke causes tension or looseness on every other spoke in the wheel. So I really should go around each side again, and that would take a very long time. But I'm retired, so maybe I'll just go ahead and do it. I'm going to turn the rig around so my right hand can work. Starting at the valve stem hole. Okay, I think I've got all of this side at the lower spec the dotted lines there are 0.83 foot-pounds which is 40 inch pounds that's the bottom of the spec in my service manual for my O1 electric glide. Now we're going to go around again. Are my arms tired? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, that's around twice. Now, ready to bring in the radio run out and the lateral. Actually, radio run out is very close. Maybe twenty thousandths. Lateral run out. Mm. You take a little tweaking. It's like about fifty thousandths. So we're about twenty thousandths out of spec. So we'll try not to move too much of the torque I put on each one of those nipples and then bring it into closer to our 50 inch pounds all the way around. Trued the wheel back up, got it in spec, got it centered without moving any of the nipples more than an eighth of a turn in any direction. So now I'm going to try to turn every nipple the same amount, about an eighth of a turn until we get a good spec on huh? 
And on that side. Our alignment is still in stack. I'm going to go around and check them for torque. Okay. Turn I'm getting to move just a little bit to measure. Fifty. Last one. That's a good 50. Okay. It's in 20 laterally. Still against 30 seconds radially. So, uh, I'm going to call that good. Got those screeching indicators off there. See, it's spinning nice and true. Now, here's something kind of interesting. Everybody always talks about the fact that they sing. So I got my guitar tuner out. Turn it on. If that shows. That's in the key of G. Here we're getting a harmonic, I think, F sharp, pretty close, G sharp, how about that? F sharp. G. Just thought that was kind of interesting too. Well, that's about all I have for this video. Figured out where four pounds is and how to uh, bring my spokes pretty close to a, a specification that is constant and uh, repeatable. So, uh, Hope you liked it and have a good day. Till next time.